Who's going to win the Oakland Supercross? Hey, everybody. Walty Wanders. Buckle up and strap in. I got a hard-hitting pull. No punches. No sugar coating it. No rainbows or sunshine. I'm just going to give it to you and give it to you straight. We got a good one to unpackage today. Round two. Wait. Round two? I thought this was supposed to be like round six or round seven. Nope. Oakland Supercross is the event that never happened. First time in history we canceled dirt bike racings because dirt bike racing because the dirt was wet. It was rain. Whew, insanity, man. I love moto. I know you guys too, do as well. Love moto. Love moto. My gosh, I love moto so much. Loved working in the industry for many many years but one of the things i loved about motos when you threw a curveball at the riders but anyway we'll get out of the problem and in the solution uh we got to keep this pretty cookie cutter these days for the industry because it's now watered down manufactured content for the industry but knocking at the door right now my friends i reported leading up to the season to the season when i created this great channel walty wanders with all my great subscribers, if you're new, please subscribe. Subscribe right away. There's never been a more important time in moto history. Centered and surrounded with like-minded people. Iron. We'll sharpen iron, my friends. We're going to sharpen some iron today. I want to hear from you guys, the guys that matter. I love this stuff. Who's going to win? Dude, Webb is now a contender. Webb stole a win last weekend in Tampa when Chase decided he was going to go down in the whoops. Those whoops were treacherous. Well, guess what, my friends? I believe Oakland, even though we don't have rain, it's cold, it's damp, it's going to rut up, my friends. Chances are you're going to get a ruddy, wild, gnarly, treacherous track. And like I said, in a closed air stadium, in a closed stadium, not an open air stadium, very hard pack where the dirt doesn't run up. Maybe you get Sexton or Eli, but I believe Cooper Webb, you have to. He's coming off the momentum from his win in Tampa. It's probably going to run up, and he seems to be pretty good in that environment. I believe, I believe, personally, Cooper Webb is my favorite. What, Walty? You're drinking the Kool-Aid. No way. Eli just had an off week weekend. He's good when the track ruts. It's true. It's true. Flip a coin. I believe it's gonna. It's Eli Chase or Webb. I mean, who else? Is Kickstart going to go throw it in for the win? Maybe. Like, that would be outstanding. Shake this thing up and more. Like I was about to say, I believe we're going to see it by the end of this season. We'll see a historic, we're going to see an historic season. Either the good, the bad, and the ugly. It's not all rainbows and sunshine out there. Let's just be straight about that. The industry, in my opinion, will never recover on one level. And that's ending it in the most unexciting place on earth. Salt Lake City, Utah. Vegas, man, come on. How did you guys drop the ball on ending it? with the after-party environment of Vegas, where you roll the dice. It comes down to a winner-take-all finale. No better place to have that happen than Las Vegas. Someone, someone's going to roll the dice. Go for broke. Remember when Osborne rolled the dice, took out Savachi for the win, for the championship? That was awesome, but it wouldn't have been as awesome in Salt Lake City, Utah. But I really want to know what you guys think. Who is going to win this weekend in Oakland with the emergence now to put Cooper Webb back in the conversation as a potential to win a, another round in, a, in an environment that might cater to him? As the track gets more treacherous, like we saw to Sexton, he's more prone to hitting the mat first. Hitting the mat first. Now, I asked it on the community page of this channel, Walty Wanders MX. There's a poll. If you head over there right now, maybe you've already participated. Maybe we'll, particip maybe we'll run that poll after the race to see how many of us were right. Who's going to win? Eli, Webb, Sexton, or somebody else? Who's going to win? You can go over to Walty Wanders MX community page, and there's a poll, and you can click who you think. 
and it'll reveal, reveal who you guys think right now, who's leading that. I just posted it, so I don't even know myself yet. But I really want to know. I'm excited about this race. I think it could be, <laughs> this is awesome right now. This is a tight points chase, which is usually between two riders. It's now three. And we're, we're get, approaching the midway point of the season. This thing is unfolding pretty awesome. A lot of stories to cover, man. A lot. And while I stir the pot, I pull no punches. I don't sugarcoat it because that's just the industry that I came up in. Not going to be a snowflake, watered down, manufactured content. Johnny, who never even raced or worked in the industry channel. No. I've raced. I've worked in the industry and I still ride to this very day. I was thinking the other day, I want to know what you guys think. Mad Skills MX. You guys got it? You play Mad Skills? Motostar Walty. I'm in there if you want to look me up. I ride red, bro. I ride red. I rode red back when I was with Triple X. I got a Honda out in the garage at the moment. And my Mad Skills bike is rocking red as well. But, hey, you know, if for me, it doesn't really matter what color. I don't care if you kickstart Kenny on the Suzuki. As long as you ride, you're a friend of mine, but I'm certainly not going to sugarcoat it, and I would believe you guys don't want anybody sugarcoating it either. But let me know what you guys think. Who's going to win in Oakland this weekend? It's coming, and it's coming fast. You got Eli, you got Sexton, you got Webb, or you got somebody else. Let me know in the comments below. In final thoughts, I come to you as a friend, as a content creator, as a moto guy, wants to see not only win on the track, off the track. Everything is changing now. Things are about to get super exciting as we have the emergence of another race winner in this season. We're going to be here to blow the lid off it every step of the way because it's not only what we need, it's in fact what we deserve. If you appreciate the content, I'm going to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Social media link in the description of this video if you'd like to contact me there. And if you enjoyed this video, I know you're going to love the next video on your screen. As always, thank you for your time. Don't go over the bars today. We will see you on the next video.